Thanksgiving just three weeks away now and Phil's Meat Market in Delhi in Northwest Portland gearing up for a busy holiday rush. Yeah, can you believe it's almost here? Core Harlan is live this morning with a look at some of the specialty items on their menu if you want to uh, leave a little help to the experts, Core. Right, Emily and Ken, and that entails a lot more than just turkey, which there is a shortage of this year. We'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a couple of minutes here. But we're just rolled out of summer. It seems like a couple weeks ago where you're thinking barbecue, outside, hamburgers, some chicken maybe. And then the weather turns and you start looking to the meat locker here at Phil's uh, Meat Market and uh, Deli and Meat Market here. They've got every cut of meat you can think of and it's just uh it's just be almost beautiful to look at through the glass there all sorts of cuts of meat ground meats marinated meats chicken uh, pork chops everything else you can imagine for the holidays and they've got some things coming up if you're putting together a thanksgiving menu uh keep in mind uh phil's because they do have a couple of things special come on around the uh the, uh, the corner here carl back here and let's meet marcus the butcher back here how you doing this morning i'm doing great how about yourself I'm, you know for 5:30, i'm doing all right yeah. now I love what you, we want to start out here because uh, in honor of uh, in honor of King Charles front and center right out there we've got something that looks like a crown. Yep, yeah, it's a pork uh, pork loin crown roast uh, from Carlton Farms. Usually you get it between 13 bones on a crown roast. Um, typically it's kind of like the main menu item for yeah, your. I suspect, holiday. and it's kind of it's. Uh, I don't mean to make too much of that, but it's kind of nice to look at. Yeah, you know, right? it's a crowd pleaser for sure. You gotta have pretty food and well as good tasting yeah, food out absolutely. here as well. So that's it. And this is you got plenty of these in stock. Yeah, absolutely. Get your orders in early because um, they go in fast. All right. And how do you prepare that? Just throw it in the oven, right? Yeah, Any oven, glaze or anything? Uh, you can, you know, do like a honey glaze or you can just do like a dry rub. Mm -hmm. um, probably it's a slower cook item, so probably 325, 20 to 30 minutes per pound, and they're typically four to five pounds per uh, roast. Call that the King Charles, for lack of a better term, over here. All right, move to the left here, my left a little bit, because this is near and dear to my heart, because it has a lot of horseradish and a lot of salt and pepper on the outside of it. Yeah, so this is our tri-tip horseradish roast. Um, it has salt, pepper, obviously a lot of horseradish. Um, it's great for the oven. Um, you probably want to go slower on it, about 325, three to four hours. Um, I call it fork ready, so you can kind of just twist it, and it kind of uh, shreds, and it's ready to go. It's delicious. If you like horseradish. Oh my God, I love horseradish, and I love the parts you can just twist it with a fork and yeah. eat it. And last but not least, here, this looks delicious, right? Uh, this is our Italian uh, porchetta. It's a pork butt or pork shoulder. It's boneless in our jet net, and it's a porchetta seasoning, fennel, salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of garlic. Uh, these are great for the oven. You can double wrap them, mm -hmm. and about 325, 20 minutes per pound, roughly. The beautiful thing about Phil's, that one of the things that I love about it, not only the selection of meats here, but you got guys like Marcus who can tell you exactly how much to cook it for about how long. You can't do that in a grocery store. Uh, you can in here, though, because everybody's pretty knowledgeable about meat. Not only the meat, how to prepare it, what temperature to cook it at, how long, what it's going to do, how many it's going to feed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It takes a lot of the trouble out of your Thanksgiving meal. and. I think everybody should know, if they don't know by now, that there is a little bit of a turkey shortage this year, right? There is. There is a bird flu going around in the poultry industry, so um, turkeys arrive here Monday morning, uh, the 14th, so get your orders in today or next week, but ASAP for sure. Get them in early this year at Phil's or anywhere else you get your, your meat here, but Phil's is a great spot here at uh, about 23rd and Northwest Burnside out here with the locker, as you can see, the, 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 uh, the front meat case here is chock full of goodness, chock full of red meat out here. I'm sorry, sorry for all the vegan folks out there, but this is uh, once uh, one, one indulgence that we'll take no uh, for early. No vegans allowed. Well, they, <laughs> <laughs> no vegans allowed. Well, with the, anyway, I'm with him, actually, so hey. How about that King, uh, King, uh, the King Charles? I love that King Charles pork crown it's there. It's a very impressive looking roast. Yes. Yeah, that would be uh, quite the centerpiece on your holiday mm -hmm. table. <laughs>